Hello, and welcome to the Crafternoon Ornament Making. Uh, my name is Kaylee, and I'm at the Guilford Public Library right now in our meeting room. And today we're going to be making some different ornaments and some different gift tags. So in front of me here, I've got a lot of different uh, supplies. I've got paint in different colors. I've got glass ornaments with removable tops, which you can remove just by pulling the top like this. It just snaps right off. I've got foam ornaments, we've got some ribbon, we've got some gift tags, I've got paint brushes, I've got scissors, and I've got a book. So to start with, I'm going to show you how I made last year's ornament, which was this one. It is a um, glitter and paper filled ornament. So we start with some book pages, which I gave everybody some book pages in their craft kit. And we still have some craft kits available if you're interested. And I'm just going to grab some pages from this one. This is an old book. It was deleted from the library. I'm not taking a new one. Um, it really doesn't matter what kind of a book you want to use. But, you, you know, I'm choosing a winter-themed Christmas book. Um, you can choose whatever you'd like. But please use a book that's either, you know, damaged or old or whatever. So what we're going to do now is we're going to cut some of these words. I actually like this page better. Um, so that you can read the full sentence. Even if you don't, you know, like the sentence, it still looks pretty cool. And nobody's ever really going to look close enough to see the word. All right, so we'll cut off just a couple. We're cutting the full sentence, like you can see here. Just cutting a couple more. And now what we're going to do is we're going to curl a couple of these sentences so they look kind of fun. So we'll just wrap them around the paintbrush handle like this. Just sort of twisting and wrapping around the paintbrush handle. Like that. And then what we'll do is we'll stick, while it's wrapped on there, we'll stick it in there like that. And we'll do the same with a couple of others. And then what we're going to do, once we've filled it up with as many uh, book pages as we'd like, we are going to add in some fun glitter. Today I've got silver glitter. Um, you can use whatever you'd like. Just remember that glitter can be really, really messy. Um, so if you don't like glitter, you don't have to use it. You don't have to throw glitter in there. That's totally up to you. Um, it's just something that you'd like to do, you know, then just go ahead and do it. But I like glitter, so I put it in there. And be careful because, you know, if you're using ornaments from us, they are real glass. So if they do, they are pretty fragile. Um, I've already broken one today, so definitely please be careful. Now, to give you the full effect, we'll pour in some of our glitter. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take one of the book pages that I had and turn it into a funnel so I can pour the glitter in without getting it all over my hands. So I will, or a cone I guess is really what it is, roll it up into a cone. fit in there and then I'll just pour some glitter in and there you go 
you have a glitter filled paper ornament. Put the cover back on. And obviously you can fill it up with as many book pages or as little as you like. This one I think I use probably like a paragraph two or worth of book pages and curl them up. Um, this one is only three sentences, so definitely you can add as many as you'd like. And now we can move on to the gift tag. So for this gift tag, I'm just going to paint a little Christmas tree. You can paint whatever you'd like. You could paint, actually, maybe I'll do a candy cane. Maybe I'll do both. Maybe I'll do a candy cane on one and a Christmas tree on the other. Um, so you've got all kinds of paint. You got a paintbrush. Um, you can really paint whatever you'd like, or you can, you know, you don't have to paint if you don't want to. You could do glitter. You could mod podge on book pages. It's really up to you. You know, we just want to give you the chance to make something special during the holidays and give you a chance to craft and get creative. Just a little Christmas tree. And now for the next one, I'm actually going to paint on this ornament because I want to. <laughs> I may put glitter in beforehand. But yeah, I'm going to actually put some glitter in beforehand to give it a nice sort of background. So I'm going to do the same funnel trick where I just turn this into like a little cone. I'm going to pour in some of my glitter. And I'm using silver glitter, but you can again use whatever color you would like to use. Okay, so that is now glitter not filled, but has quite a bit. And the scene that I'm going to do on this. Hmm. It really depends on what you're feeling. I think maybe on one side I'll do a little tree again, and then I'll do a snowflake on the other side. So. I'm just going to lightly start painting on here. I'm gonna get more green. And again, just be careful because it is a glass ornament. We really don't want you to get hurt. at the top of my tree.
and there is my little tree side of my ornament. So now I'm going to switch to the other side and I'm going to throw on a snowflake. So I've got a different paintbrush and we're going to go with some white and some blue and we're just going to and the fun thing about snowflakes is they can be literally any shape there's not really like a rule to snowflakes you may have seen in our newsletter yesterday all about the man who studied the shapes of snowflakes w.a bentley which is pretty cool i don't know a lot about snowflakes other than the fact that they're you know frozen rain I think that they're very pretty and I think they bring something fun to my ornament. probably do a lot better than I did but there is my other ornament so now we've got a couple of different ways you can do ornaments here you know it really is up to you how you'd like to do it um, have fun with it paint them cover them with paper do whatever you'd like um, you can celebrate them however you'd like and we're very happy to have you join us thank you so much for watching take care stay safe have good holidays thank you